today I want to go over something that's kind of a misconception or an enigma of sorts and it's the question of will Robert Mueller indict President Donald Trump for collusion or anything dealing with the Russia issue. I think the reason there's such questions surrounding this is that most people have no idea what collusion is, the actual office of the president is, or exactly how law works. Now, I'm going to go over it kind of briefly. The one thing or the one question that can be answered, has a sitting president ever been indicted? Uh, that answer is no. I'm going to speak on this real quick, but it's also understanding process. First thing we're going to look at is the first step, which is an impeachment. There are four reasons for impeachment. And before you can even start the impeachment process, impeachment requires a crime during presidency. Keep close listen to the word during presidency because that's going to play a factor in this entire matter. But the first reason for impeachment would be treason, and that's any act against the United States. Collusion is not treason. So, would, is that something Robert Mueller is looking for? Possible. But I don't see anything that points towards treason. Bribery. Now, bribery in this sense, when it deals with impeachment of a president, it deals with has money exchanged hands for favors or in a sense of have there been things that have been changed for the person or country in this matter that has given leeway for decisions to work in their favor versus the U.S. Now, is this possible? It's possible. But again, it has to be something done during presidency. Now we go into this thing called high crimes and misdemeanors. Well, we all understand what misdemeanors are. Misdemeanors are, you know, things that are kind of kind of petty. I would use the word non-harmful in a sense of a mass harming. It's probably very individualized. It's something that you could say it's minor, you know, such as a traffic ticket. That's misdemeanor, just to give you context. But high crimes has a connection to bad acts or a bad act. Now, here's the interesting part of this entire thing. Because again, we're gonna talk about during presidency. High crimes would be tampering with the elections, which for the most part, there has been proof of tampering. There has been admission of tampering. But again, the key word to this for impeachment is during presidency. There is no known evidence, high crimes during presidency. So, got to understand that. There has been evidence that has been admitted that serves as high crimes that has been admitted to, but it was prior to Donald Trump's presidency. When we talk about indictable crimes, we look at one source where we had Richard Nixon, President Richard Nixon, that came under Article 2, Section 4. But when we're talking about the indictment itself, because we know impeachment requires a crime, we know impeachment requires a crime during presidency. The biggest issue of that is when you talk about high crimes and bad acts, 
that portion, there are instances where there are things that happen that are not necessarily crimes during pres presidency. It could be considered something that was ongoing. Now, I think that is one of the things that would have to be proved, but it will also be something that is the most difficult to prove. To give the quickest breakdown and to answer everybody's question, can or will Donald Trump be indicted while he is president? No, he will not. And will he be impeached? I'm going to answer no to that as well. And here's why. The House of Representatives, which is controlled by the Republicans at this point, are the ones that have to nominate or start the impeachment process. Again, the Republicans control the House of Representatives. So starting the impeachment process, unless he, Donald, President Donald Trump, does something that is completely outlandish, they're not going to be able to complete the process. Now, let's go into the hypothetical of if they are able to somehow get the votes necessary to impeach President Donald Trump during this term. So impeachment power is with the Senate. And again, the Republicans control the Senate. So you're asking me, can he be indicted? No, not while he is president. Will he be indicted? No, not while the Republicans control the House and the Senate. Understanding that it may be possible for after effects for something other than things that happened during this presidency. Again, there is no evidence that we currently have, but there are a lot of lawsuits, but that's civil, not criminal. No, Donald Trump will not be indicted. No, President Donald Trump will not be impeached. So if anybody thinking about it, congressionally, constitutionally, cannot, will not happen. Until next time.